Hi, in this video I want to explain difference between triploidy and trisomy and let's imagine that this is a mother plant and this one is a father plant and this is uh, on the picture uh, is um, Arabidopsis zaliana this is a model plant that is used in the study of the genetics of the plants so um, haploid number of this uh, plant is five chromosomes uh, on the further so side it can be found in the pollen grain and on the mother's side um, five chromosomes haploid number can be found in the egg cell so um, together they form uh, they form diploid organism um, they form uh, diploid zygote that uh, through um, mitosis uh, division will form diploid organism and uh, let me explain about um, mistakes that can happen during meiosis that might lead to triploidy. Let's imagine that during meiosis 1 or 2 when cell is ready to divide to, to um, uh, daughter cells uh, during anaphase when um, sister chromatids um, line it up in the center of the uh, cell ready to be pulled apart to the two parts of the uh, cell and here is centriolus and let's imagine that microtubulus that is should pull them apart uh, fail to form and in this case what we'll get uh, would be just a cell with uh, um, doublet number of the chromosomes and this could be with the egg cell or pollen grain and um, so what we'll get, we will have a doublet number of chromosomes uh, and let me return to the previous slide so in this scenario uh, uh, pollen grain would be um, would contain doublet um, chromosome number and um, when it's joined with homologous chromosomes in uh, egg cell they would form a zygote that going to have uh, three full sets of chromosomes two of them from the um, parent plant and one from the mother plant so uh, on this picture we have uh, haploid, triploid and diploid uh, example and on the next slide I will explain how these uh, plants uh, are phenotypically different here is a vivid example of the triploid organism and uh, diploid organism um, here you see a triploid uh, plant and here is a diploid and as you see um, the size is a different uh, even color can be different and um, also uh, not only flower is bigger but uh, it's also roots leaves stamens and um, Triploid plants is uh, well known 
for example, such plants as uh, apples, pears, and uh, of course bananas and different cultivars of the uh, seedless watermelon and uh, not only diploid and triploid plants exist but also there is um, uh, as I mentioned it earlier uh, haploid this means uh, or monoploid, this is only one set of chromosomes and diploid means two, three means three and uh, uh, tetraploid so all these suffixes uh, from the chemistry might be well known to you and penta means five sets of chromosomes and hexa six hepta seven octa uh, eight and um, nona nine and deca ten I'm not sure about uh, non-aploid and decaploid plants, but I know that octaploid plants exist. Um, for example, such plant like uh, strawberry. And um, now I will return and explain uh, about uh, trisonomy. Trisonomy is when um, uh, due to almost same uh, reasons as in the uh, triploidy uh, non disjunction cause uh, some sister chromatids uh, to be present uh, in two copies from uh, say mother side or from the uh, father side so this is just uh, one uh, chromosome that is present in three copies it's called uh, trisonomy and it happens also with uh, humans for example a well-known disease like uh, trisonomy 21 this is uh, down syndrome there is also different uh, number of other um, genetic disorders like trisonomy 13 chromosome 13 and uh, there is also exist trisonomy uh, of the sex chromosomes like XXY and um, there is no uh, example of the triploidy in humans and even in animals only some uh, uh, fishes can be triploid like salmon um, but uh, even one extra chromosome cause very serious uh, genetic disorders in humans but plants seems uh, tolerate uh, tri trisonomy much uh, better than uh, animals so it's uh, uh, not a rare event when trisonomy um, um, happens in plant kingdom um, so, this is basically all about uh, triploidy and trisomy. Uh, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.